The birds flock together, their chirping songs bleed of ecstasy. Crocodiles swim in tame waters, as an insurgent stream animates new life. The lion roars, erupting new fear, shaking the ground now teeming with tiny scarabs. Polar bears hunt walruses, thwarted by impenetrable skin. As the giant whales are engulfed by the lurking leviathan, beings exist, fauna and flora intertwined, oxygen perpetuating its essence from within. This bewitching picture, a spectacle of great interest, easily fools the observer, blinded by mere imagination. For within this womb of perfection, within this engraving of hope, an insidious entity creeps, a virus whose replication strikes like lightning, bolts through the air, hammers and wind breaking through flesh, cries, laughter and pain all let out in one single breath. This disgusting beast cuts through the earth like death consumed by madness and the insane ghost of greed, prizes upon medals upon trophies, bones upon skulls upon corpses. The green devil lets out a smile, his teeth gnashing and gnawing. In pain, towers built upon waste, monuments and statues defaced. Sorrow etched deep within these words as I tell the story of a hound with no loyalty, a slave to what is worldly, having been bestowed with intelligence otherworldly. What a comedy, a tragedy divine, as an arsenal of weaponry is built. This disease knows no shame, no guilt. Consumption with no gumption, a dungeon laid to waste in broken embers. Wars are waged in your name as a mere statistic, part of a mass, a herd governed by imaginary boundaries, even deeper members of fantasy than those of skin. My son, I did the very best I could do. I told away in pain, just for you. All was for naught, for I was fighting a losing battle. What power does one mind have to stop a horde of mindless imbeciles, of robotic zombies, purveyors of ugliness, scoundrels of disgust, thieves, Robbing the greatest mother of all. My son, I shall leave you now. To a universe better taken care of. You shall inherit the remnants of a decaying earth. Broken shards of a deficient earth. Whose second definition has disappeared into oblivion. Has the earth breathes its last breath, and with bated sighs lets out a cry of millions of beasts, of a myriad of fauna and flora. The only one the earth was happy to lose was, was once known as, as man, as man, as mankind.